Newcastle are unbeaten in eight and have collected four wins from the last five to climb above Chelsea and Manchester United and enter the top four. Hey guys, it's Let's Talk Football here and today we look at if Newcastle can make the top four this season. This is a stat that doesn't steer you far wrong when it comes to the Premier League. For all the talk of competitive balance, there is such a thing as a big six, and they generally occupy the top spots. In fact, since 2005, on only one occasion has a club from outside those six broken into the top four spots. That was Leicester City in their fairy tale title winning season. Yet with Newcastle winning 2-1 away to Tottenham and beating Aston Villa 4-0, they are now fourth, and given the club's deep pocketed owners, the prospect of more investment feels around the corner. Will the big six become a big seven? Wherever Newcastle end up, you need to tip your hat to Eddie Howe. Cynics will point to the roughly 200 million spent over the past two transfer windows. Newcastle's owners promised gradual organic growth rather than the sort of massive investment we saw at PSG or Manchester City. And thus far, it's what they've delivered. Naturally, given the Saudi ownership, plenty reckon they could flip a switch and go big at any time, but I'm not sure they will. One of Eddie's quirks is that during his time at Bournemouth, he actually had more misses than hits when he did splash the cash. Many of his bigger signings either didn't move the needle much or spent a long time in and out of the side before contributing. You're we're tempted to conclude that he values chemistry so much that he tends to be more conservative when integrating newcomers. Either that or he's wary about overrating players. Newcastle and their fans will be hoping they can stay in the top four. Their performances so far, I think they deserve to be there right now. They are defensively sound and they look so well organized, but they've also got that balance going forward. And you've also got to consider that all of this is without the two best players on the team, St. Maximin and Alexander Isak, which is very, very impressive. So at the moment, you've got to praise Eddie Howe and how he's improved the club. The players that have come in have been brilliant. You look at Guimaraes, the quality he's got, Botman, I know that Newcastle fans love him at the moment, and Miguel Almiron has been so key to Newcastle's success this season. Almiron has really, really stepped up this season. Jolington too. Almiron and Jolington are almost unrecognizable from when Eddie Howe first came in. But can they continue their form and stay in the top four? That's the difficult question, but I think at the moment, all you can look at is the improvement, and there's certainly been huge improvements there. I think even Newcastle fans will be surprised with where they are at right now. Whether they can stay there or not in the long run, that's the test for them. But I think they are a work in progress, and you know last season they were fighting to stay in the Premier League, and now this year you're looking realistically for Newcastle to finish in the top 10 in the top half. I think they are overachieving, I do, but they've done an excellent job thus far. Newcastle have scored more goals than Chelsea and Manchester United this season, and have only conceded to 10 goals in 13 games in the Premier League, which by the way makes them the best defense in the division right now. I think it's unlikely they'll finish in the top four, but that doesn't mean that they can't get European football next year. I'm scared for the teams that are trying to get into Europe to be honest, because Newcastle are a problem. I could see Newcastle in the Conference League next season. If they end up getting Europa League, that would be amazing for them, but I think that seventh spot is there for the taking. Now it's about being consistent, and if they can keep that consistency, then hey, who's to say that they can't finish above seventh? If they can buy a couple of players in January too, Eddie Howe will be thinking like just keep going, see where they can finish, and see the best that they can do. They are a very balanced team, very consistent, and that will go a very, very long way in the Premier League. But let us know what you guys think. Where will Newcastle finish this season? Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys on the next one.